Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy, back with you this Monday, or Sunday, depending when you're listening. Uh, I got back week before last from an amazing 5D emotional healing retreat in Nyack, New York, and something so powerful happened um, that it took me two weeks to really integrate it, to be able to uh, explain to you what went on. And I think you'll find it very uh, important in your own life as you feel the energy. Um, I'm going to start with a quote from Ashtar as an ET that puts out some really powerful stuff at times. And um, here's what he had to say that, and I'll apply it to ourselves, to what happened and to the planet. Taking responsibility for your existence and your ascension is accessing the power within you, realizing that when you are aligned and attuned to the sacred energies of your soul, you are in your power and you become the creator of your reality. This means that negativity, pain, victimhood, and blame uh, are no longer exist for you unless, of course, you choose to consciously or even unconsciously welcome the experience into your reality to support your own evolution. I think that's important to remember as we are moving out of the place of figuring out what's our lesson, what's wrong, what we did or didn't do. Sometimes you create a painful or negative experience um, to bring you back to love, to grow, to understand yourself. So eight of us gathered on October 10th, which was a Saturday, uh, in Nyack, New York, on the 10th floor of a building overlooking the Hudson. And there is a center there called Healing on the Hudson. So we had a spectacular view of the river as we um, moved into the 5D emotional healing transformation. And uh, they're always powerful. They're always wonderful. They're always different. And, and I just, I love the work I do. Um, but this one had such a profound effect. It's taken me two weeks to bring myself enough here to understand what really happened. Because the energy we created was just so powerfully loving and uh, high vibration. It almost was trance-like, I have to say, in a bliss kind of a way. And I know we've had these moments, but this was um, a whole room of people all at the same time being in that space. And uh, Heliana Hudson uh, does have a portal there. The woman who lives there, Star Goddess, does a lot of beautiful activations. And so there was a lot of groundwork Um, But as we, the eight of us, surrendered our resistance, moved into integrating our emotions and owning them through our feelings, through sound, through meditation, uh, through connecting hearts with each other, um, a powerful field just vibrated in that space. One, um, as I'm a grid worker on this planet, I pay particular attention because it wasn't just about us, of course, Uh, you know. It happens for all at the same time. As one of the participants shared, he said, it felt as if negativity was an entity that was powerfully and quite suddenly sucked out of each of us as well as the group heart we created. Uh, In fact, uh, we all felt at a certain point in the early afternoon that the retreat was complete, even though it wasn't supposed to end, I think, till six o'clock. Uh, We just chose, everybody chose to stay. It just felt complete. But the frequency and the energy and the beings that were surrounding us, we just stayed as if in a magnificent orb of light and pulsating heart. And mostly we sat out on the the deck, our veranda overlooking the Hudson, uh, which was crowded with eight of us. (laughs) And And we were silent a lot. Sometimes we shared, we did, we rubbed each other's backs and feet. We were just, you know what I'm saying, we were in that divine space. And uh, a lot of the time we sat in silence and a sudden storm came up very quickly, got dark in certain places while the sun was shining and others toward the end of the day. And this unusual rain started pelting us, not hard, it was rain, it was soft, but it was white, 
droplets, and they must have been ice or very cold because when they hit your skin, they were very, very cold. And it left, it stopped as suddenly as it started, and within no 10, 15 minutes, a beautiful rainbow, a bright, brilliant, most brilliant, bright one I've seen in quite a while, uh, went over the whole length of the Hudson River as we sat there. And of course, this was on uh, uh, October, no, September 10th. On 9-11 was the next day, and I was in Manhattan on that day. And, um, well, actually, I was in Manhattan on Monday. I'm getting my days mixed up here. But anyway, um, I feel that that set the whole tone of a loving vibration for the 15-year 9-11 memorial um, gathering in Manhattan. And although I wasn't there, I went there with several uh, people the next day, and the love was still palpable. It was just uh, such horrific images so lovingly embraced, if I want to say it that way. And I sat on the subway with a girl who told me she'd been there, just started the conversation with me, and uh, she said it was so magnificent. She said she'd been there before, but this time it just felt loving, is how the word she used. So um, there was a tremendous expansion of the heart center uh, created in the frequency there above the Hudson, on the healing on the Hudson, with the aid of us. Uh, and it activated the crystalline structures within our very beings, within our DNA, within our physical bodies, so that our vibrations could now more easily sync up with the 5D love frequency already uh, anchored an on our planet and amping up daily. So it, it literally, we intensified this field in to help assist every human heart to align more uh, easily with this new energy and move toward it and away from what I'll call the beast toward compassion and love. So I titled this Reflections, uh, We're Done Feeding the Beast. And the beast is that well of fear and mind control and negativity and false um, creations that oftentimes fill our space and cause anxiety. And every time we believe it, we buy into it, we attach ourselves to it, uh, we are feeding the beast. So what we're really uh, doing right now is we're, it's time. It's time to stop feeding the beast. It's time to put your beast on a diet. Let's put it this way. And stop listening definitely to television as much as possible, movies and documentaries. But stop as much as possible. Definitely put away your newspapers, all the mainstream media, as we call it, mainstream media, anything that's fear-mongering terror, <clears throat> that's pointing out um, Black Lives Matter, Black people being shot. Well, it's terrible. The white people are being shot, too. Let's stay in integration and in that space of love for all. All lives matter of every color. We all matter. So stop feeding the beast. Stop focusing on the terror being created to distract you from the magnificence that you truly are. So catch your own magic and your own power. And then in just one more uh, aside before I, I leave for the day, uh, the 5D emotional treats evolve. Each one is so uniquely and specially different. This one was certainly very powerful. In fact, I am being called back to return to NIAC to continue the work on November 5th. And there will be two retreats here in the Iowa City, Cedar Rapids area, one on Saturday, October 15th, and one on a Wednesday, October 19th. And pretty soon after that, I'm going to be heading by car eastward from Iowa to Nyack to do the November 5th retreat there. So if you're anywhere in that trajectory on the way and you would like me to stop and you would like to have a retreat, one, two, three, four people, uh, in your area, I would love to do that. So please contact me. Um, I'd love to do a retreat in your area. Let's all catch the magic and empower our own lives and every human heart on the planet. 
Have a great week. Hope you had a great equinox. See you again next week. Bye.